In this position, AC Penko with white play e3 to avoid b4. Carson play aggressively take. And white is a pawn down. Carson play queen h4. Now white is a pawn down but can have many attacks against the king who is in the center. Carlsen moves back. Just king b1 and Carlsen avoid castling because then you will try to attack with f5 and you have a lot of danger. So instead, he play knight c6 to try to develop and keep the pawn up. This is a key moment of the game. Here, decided to go for the most forcing variation. And here, he sack on b5. Carson accepts the sack. And here, you may think that the knight is going to b5 and then d6 is dropping, but that wasn't a Sipenko idea. Instead, after taking here, he takes on c6, black takes, and he played queen c3, attacking the bishop and the rook. Carson has to castle, and now d6 cannot be defended. So after five minutes, Carson pushes, and now we reach the second key moment of the game. Carson's plan is to attack over here and try to develop chances on his own. Here, of course, you do not want to take here because black would play rook b8 and then the queen comes here and the king is very weak over here. So instead, again, Andrea Yesipenko finds the best move, which is d6. He's saying, yes, take my queen because I'm going to take your queen back, but then my pawn is going to be very much advanced and I'm also attacking your knight. So clearly, Carlsen cannot take the queen. He moved back and now Isipenko took the pawn and played queen c7. Very important, again, if Carlsen take, then he would have a pass pawn and that is the theme of the game. So we're gonna move on to the game. After this move, the game continued and we reach another key moment over here. Carlsen is trying to attack on the, against the king and here Esipenko play very good moves. He's consolidating. Again, black cannot take. And here, there was a trick. If Carlsen takes here, then at the end for white, checkmate. Obviously, white saw that and play rook a8. We want to exchange material and then attacking the knight and promote the deep pawn. That's the plan. So what happened after that? Now, white to the knight. Carlsen is trying to do a counter attack. And here, d7 promoting the deep pawn. Now, if you do check here, simply c3, and after this, you simply move your rook and you don't have any chances for black to attack the king. d8 is coming and white won the game, the world champion resigned. Beautiful game throughout by Essipenko, a young talent. Thank you for watching.